Cryogel fabrication is quite simple, fast, and easy. First, a water-soluble cross-linkable polymer is dissolved in water. Next, an initiator is added to the polymer solution which starts the reaction. Before the cross-linking occurs, the polymer mixture is transferred into a pre-shaped mold. At this point, the mold is quickly moved to a freezer at low temperature. Once inside the freezer, the water solution starts to freeze. This process leads to the nucleation and growth of ice crystals. This results in a phase separation between the ice crystals and solutes, which contain the polymer and initiator. The polymer and other solutes concentrate into a non-frozen liquid phase around the solid ice crystals. In the non-frozen liquid phase, the polymer crosslinks in a process called cryopolymerization. When the cryopolymerization is complete, the mold is taken out of the freezer. As a result, the ice crystals are thawed at room temperature, leaving behind a macroporous and interconnected network. These properties make cryogels injectable through standard hypodermic needles. As a result, no surgery is needed to introduce cryogels into the body. They're typically injected subcutaneously. During the injection process, free water is quickly expelled from the cryogel and the polymer network reversibly collapses to a tiny fraction of its original size. This allows the cryogels to be pushed through a needle into the body. Once introduced in the body and hydrated, cryogels will spontaneously pop back to their original shape and dimensions. As you can see, these cryogels have shape memory properties. The interconnected macropores are an ideal environment for the attachment and delivery of cells. Additionally, this structure can promote immune cell infiltration and trafficking. For example, injectable cryogels have been used as a training camp to instruct immune cells to kill cancer cells. In this example, cryogels were engineered to controllably release biomolecules such as chemokines. Chemokine release results in the recruitment of antigen-presenting immune cells, mainly of dendritic cells. Once recruited, the dendritic cells uptake and process tumor-associated antigens. Additionally, they're activated in the presence of activating factors such as adjuvants. When fully activated, mature dendritic cells migrate out of the cryogel and travel to the closest draining lymph nodes. Here, dendritic cells stimulate antigen-specific cancer-fighting T-cells. Quickly generate a huge army of cytotoxic T-cells that are ready to find and eradicate tumors throughout the body. This approach can potentially cure cancer patients. Thank you for watching, and please visit our website for more information about injectable cryogels and their biomedical applications.